Welcome to the virtual recognition ceremony of our YS7 learners. Today, we shall recognize the learners who have successfully completed the academic requirements in the elementary level. We shall now begin our ceremony with the presentation of the following moderatorship classes in YS7. Starting with the moderatorship class of Blessed Peter Sanz, under the supervision of Ms. Roxanne Reisag. This time, we welcome the learners from the moderatorship class of Blessed Andrew Franchi under the guidance of their moderator, Ms. Rose Ingles. The next moderatorship group is from the class of Blessed Columba of Rieti, under the moderatorship of Ms. Rizaline Portillo. We now welcome the learners from the class of Blessed Alfonso Navarrete with Mr. Anthony Victorino as moderator. Finally, we have the learners from the class of St. Louis Bertrand of the Home Study Program 
under the guidance of Mrs. Marites Corpus and Mrs. Teresa de Sagon. This time, we welcome the learning facilitators of the lower level department and the school's administrators headed by our rector, Rev. Father Richard G. Ang, OP, and our pro-vice rector, Rev. Father Ferdinand L. Bautista, OP.
We now request everyone to pause for a moment of silence as we feel God's presence with the opening prayer to be led by the YS7 learners, Ms. Juris Maxine D. Maranan and Ms. Bernil Christine C. Desena, to be followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Mga kababayan, 
ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Welcome to the meaningful and memorable YS7 Recognition Day Ceremonies. We are all gathered today virtually to celebrate the accomplishment of the YS7 learners who have successfully mastered the required skills in the elementary level. Today is also a fitting occasion to give recognition to the YS7 learners who have stood out in the level because of their exemplary performance in the different subjects despite the challenges of this new normal way of education. To formally welcome everyone on this occasion, we have the Director for Academic Affairs of USD Angelicum College, Dean Eunice Mares Q. Ariola, PhD, HSG, for her welcome remarks. Journeying as one with gratitude and love. What a wonderful thing, and what a wonderful day to celebrate. Today is both a beginning and an end. The end of your seven years of education in UST Angelicum College Basic Education Department. It is also a brand new beginning, a beginning of another journey in your life of learning. I take pride in wishing you congratulations for all that you have accomplished for the past several years and I look forward to many good news of accomplishments that you'll be having in your years to come. Let us be grateful for all the people who have helped you in this journey of education, your facilitators, your peers, the non-teaching staff of the school, but most importantly, your parents who have been strongly supporting all of your endeavors. I congratulate you for every ons of difficulty that you were able to hurdle because of this challenging situation in our academic environment. I am sure that there were many episodes of loneliness, anxiety, fear, and stress, but I hope that you will always remember most of all those moments of joy, happiness, and of course, gratitude. Congratulations once again to all of you our YS7 learners, and I look forward to hearing wonderful news of your accomplishments in the future. Thank you very much, Dr. Ariola, for the warm welcome. To give us his inspiring message, let us welcome the Pro Vice Rector of UST Angelicum College, Reverend Father Ferdinand L. Bautista, OP, PhD. My dear administrators, faculty, and employees, our ever-supportive parents, learners, guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Today's occasion is doubly special and important because we recognize today the achievements of our YS7 learners and we celebrate the 49th Foundation Anniversary of UST Angelicum College. We highlight in this program our learners' accomplishments and their readiness to face the challenges in junior high school. Considering all the hardships in any academic ardent taking, especially during this time of pandemic where classes are conducted online, we are convinced that these YS7 learners responded to the day-to-day -day challenges in their subjects with a lot of heart, a lot of determination, 
and with great resilience, but not without the grace of God at work through significant people in their lives. As we commend and congratulate them, we also acknowledge their teachers, parents and guardians, relatives and friends. It is through their love, sacrifices, commitment, guidance and hard work that these learners reach this point. They indeed deserve our huge compliment. My dear YS7 learners, as young people, you have a lot of dreams in mind waiting to be realized. You are at a stage when you have such strong desire to pursue a lot of things and to make a difference in this world and in other people's lives. UST Angelicum, beside your family and friends, earnestly and ardently support you in all your endeavors. As one community, we hope that each of you become the best person not only you want to become, but the kind of person God wants each one of you to be. May you always take to heart the values you imbibed early on, the revered core values of our institution, that is, truth, charity, justice, and fortitude. As Tomasian Angelicans, you all have started to assimilate what it will take to make an impact in this world. As we celebrate our school's 49th foundation anniversary, I invite you to continue your junior high school here in UST Angelicum and let us journey together with gratitude and love. For 49 years, UST Angelicum has steadfastly been giving what is best for each learner. This school has been developing competent and compassionate individuals by providing quality education through a progressive approach to learning. For a number of times, I testified that God's blessings steal into life noiselessly, neither self-proclaiming nor self-announcing. I wish that gatherings such as this may never fail to remind us of that truth that God's only desire is to bless us, His beloved children. All glory be to Him. Once again, good morning. God bless you as the Angelicum. God bless you all. It is noteworthy to know that one of the very unique features of the USD Angelicum College system of education is the continuous progression of the learners. This feature sets the learning activities as a continuous progression with a complete set of skills to be mastered from the YS2 to the YS11 levels. This unique feature also explains why in USD Angelicum College, we only have one graduation ceremony which is held after the learner has already completed the senior high school level. Thus, the recognition day is not equivalent to a graduation. Today's ceremony is a right to acknowledge the efforts and hard work of the learners who have mastered a set of skills in the lower level department. Their academic journey will still continue as they move up to the next phase of learning beginning in the YS8 level. The Certificate of Completion is given to the learners who have mastered the set of skills and the requirements in the different subject areas from YS2 to YS7 levels. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present to you the YS7 completers of the academic year 2020-2021. For the first group of YS7 learners, we have the class under the supervision of Ms. Roxanne Reisag, the Moderatorship Class of Blessed Peter Sons. Abong Rajani M. Bautista Ramiel Odi P. Katibog Jimison Zylar H. Chua Miguel Inigo L. Kusi Nicolo Rafael C. Depano 
Theo Sebastian B. Di Maano Gian Romel Carlo S. Jola Roy Alexander Caden M. Josana Gian Benedict T. Duran Kian Eric B. Esmilia Shan Dilan R. Evangelista Lance Riley A. Kadatuan Kidash K. Linus John Mikael V. Liboro Juan Antonio Gohan N. Makaro Lance Ishmael M. Manabat Inigo Isaac Ezekiel B. Maralit John Russell A. Sunga Isaiah Germain D. Aguilar Angela Nicole P. Aldover Ruth Esther D. Alqueza Carly Brooke M. Amesteso Princess Vanadel A. Aquino Cassandra May M. Arabis Hannah Gabriela B. Artajos Gia Therese E. Bernardo Maria Beatrice G. Kabadu Lacey Sabine C. Kadusho Claire Joanna Alexis C. Kawili Chloe Adrian G. Karael RJ C. Comines Theia Isabel E. Concepcion Rian May. David Julian Gray E. Desena Berniel Christine C. De La Cruz Likha M. Escartine Chloe Regine C. Fernandez Reese M. Fuerte Ina Giselle Dr. Galicia Erin Isabel T. Ganaban Caitlin Elise F. This time, we have the class under the supervision of Mrs. Rose Ingles, the moderatorship class of Blessed Andrew Franchi. Barha Kael Joachim D. Dichanko Johan Seth R. Gabales John Rafael O. Galliardo Kyle Jacob P. Lucernas Jeffrey Sean A. Lupango 
Darl Inigo Isaac A. Martin Raymond Jean D. Nijar Kirat. Pizarro Anton James D. Quintilia Uriel Jean G. Rabano Marcus Leonard G. Samson Pablo Javier K. Saking Karsten Edry U. Sola Christian E. Sugitan Lorenzo Mikel R. Tabora Don Sebastian G. Umali Alan Ezekiel B. Villegas Rashard Chase P. Agag Ann Christine O. Bansil Reza KDG. Diaz Diana Antonia N. Ekal Alexandra Micaela E. Guevara Alia Juliana G. Horvina Hayden Cassandra N. Lopez Geraldine Ann L. Makapagal Danica Joyce A. Maglake Maria Francesca Dominic P. Maranan Joris Maxine D. Mendoza Anrian B. Oliveros Ruiz Ann Germain P. Pellegrino Nika P. Perano Moira Isabel T. Platon Vanessa Carmela Jill N. Rahman Pearl Shaina N. Sabdula Claire Jean Victoria R. Santos Alexandria Aisha J. Soriano Charlize Zian L. Tadeo Elaine Margaret P. The next group of learners to receive the certificate is from the class of Ms. Rizaline Portillo the Moderatorship Class of Blessed Columba of Rieti. Acosta Michael Lucas V. Aldai Adriel Luis P. Arceo Charles Rian. Jonisho Gerald T. Jimenez, Franz Miguel C. King, Darren Gabriel M. Laluan, Baxter Carl V. Naval, Anjo Sebastian V. 
ang seat ko, Haley Adrian A. Osmilio Daniel Inigo B. Paulino Matthew Uriel C. Kiazon Kurt Tyrese Benedict D. San Pedro Adrian Jacob C. Solano John Lex Carlos P. Tamayo Juan Miguel V. You Jaden Matthew T. You Jovan Maguire T. Kalub Catherine Ann Louise R. Chua Natalie Rain B. Esguera Francesca Jasne M. Fernando Bea Selina A. Laraya Eunice Dion P. Montenegro Maxine Hilary R. Ocampo Marie Isabel A. Ortega Zaragil A. Pereja Felicity Gabriel S. Santiago Lana Sofia O. Sassis Rian May N. Tabunyar Sofia Franzen S. Taguba Jillian Phoebe F. Tan Nia Joyce F. Valete Sheila May T. You Jana Mariela T. The next group to receive the certificate is from the class of Mr. Anthony Victorino, the moderatorship class of Blessed Afonsus Navarrete. Alonzo Sean Noah D. Angeles George Marco C. Aveliano Sebastian Dominic B. Blanco Zildjian H. Cinco Yitzhak Zo Royce A. Fu Francis Mark L. Lim Neil Cleon G. Yaguno Miguel Angelo R. Yovido Azriel James B. Molina Marcos Cyrus A. Nang Matthew Cedric P. Patawi Mark Ian S. Revisa Rian E. Robledo Ethan Zachariah P. Salvador Germain Luther P. Santos Tobit Gabriel T. C. 
si Peter Brian V. Uy, Luis Gabriel E. Bernabe Kisha Joy R. Colabres Sachi L. Lazatin Liana Iris D. Makawile Series Vien C. Nieva Alexis Joy P. Obusan Amina Carmin H. Pedro Pia Loren. Ramos Carey C. Robles Ashley Nicole A. Santos Francesca Lauren M. The next group to receive the Certificate of Completion is from the Home Study Program under the guidance of Mrs. Marites Corpus and Mrs. Maria Teresa de Sagon, the Moderatorship Class of St. Louis Bertrand. Aguila Pablo Lorenzo Y. D. Guillaume Joaquim J. De La Cruz Sean Oliver. Dizon Carlo Angelo G. Jr. Ferrer Antonio Rafael Z. Hogar Gabriel Edner R. Hamyas Rafael Antonio V. Pakulan Miguel Alexander K. Pakulan Simon Jeremy C. Soriano Isaiah Timothy P. Adaya Juliana Athea S. Camille Yesha Nicole Therese. Echeverry Soraya Nathalie M. Gandamra Aliza Rain K. Nahera Feline Kate D. Piscano Kelsey C. Ruiz Rihanna Victoria P. Sayo Regina A. Congratulations to all the YS7 learners, and may you continue to strive hard in your studies as you move to junior high school. UST Angelicum College is committed to the total formation of the learners. Thus, the school is not only concerned with the academic progress of the learners, but also with their social and spiritual refinement. It is noteworthy to say that in UST Angelicum, learners' involvement in co-curricular and extracurricular activities is one of the areas that help them in developing and enriching their potentials, skills, and talents to the fullest. It is for this reason why the following special awards are given by USD Angelicum College. We start with the Outstanding Member of the Society of Young Scientists of USD Angelicum College, or SYSAC. This year's Outstanding Member of SISAC is Ramil Odi P. Bautista. 
Next is from the Mathematics Club. This year's Outstanding Math Club member is Lorenzo Miquel R. Sugitan. Next, we have the Outstanding Club member of the Student Catholic Action Club. This year's Outstanding member of SCA is Hayden Cassandra and Harvina. Moving on, we have this time the outstanding member of the Young Homemakers Club. This year's awardee is Thea Isabel E. Comines. This year's outstanding member of the Sali Club is Julian Phoebe F. Taguba. We also have the outstanding member of the Sports Club. This year's Outstanding Sports Club member is Gian Romel Carlo S. Dimaano. The next medal to be given is for the Outstanding Member of the Glee Club. And the recipient of this award is Juris Maxine D. Maranan. We will also acknowledge selected learners who gave pride to UST Angelicum College through the different sports they engaged in. This year's off-campus awardees are Miguel Inigo L. Chua Kael Joaquin D. Barha Adrian Jacob C. San Pedro Inigo Isaac Ezekiel B. Manabat and Ashley Nicole A. Robles. Last but definitely not the least is the recipient of the Leadership Award. This is given to a student who has shown a high degree of leadership, consistently recognized by his or her peers and the school community and has produced positive results that are beneficial to the student body and to the school. This year's Leadership Awardee is Thea Isabel E. Comines. This time, we move to the awarding of medals to the learners who have exhibited excellent performance in the different subject areas. The award for academic distinction is given to the learner who have mastered laudably the skills required in the different subject areas in the level. Thus, this award is not based on whoever finishes the modules first. This is based on whoever stands out as an excellent learner in terms of his or her academic performance in the subject during the time that the batch was handled by the learning facilitator in a particular year. The selection for the recipient of the Academic Distinction Award went through a process. The YS2 to YS7 learning facilitators in the different subject areas nominated a name of the learner who stood out in their subject during the time that they handled this batch. Tallying and deliberation process on the names of nominees followed in order to determine who stands out in the subject. If there is a tie, both learners receive the award. The following are the recipients of the Academic Distinction Award for the school year 2020-2021. The recipient of the Academic Distinction Award in Music Education is Juris Maxine Di Maranan. The recipient of the Academic Distinction Award in Arts Education is Rhys M. Fernandez. The recipient of the Academic Distinction Award in Physical Education and also the recipient of the Academic Distinction Award in Home Economics and Livelihood Education or the St. Joseph the Worker Award is Thea Isabel E. Comines. The recipient of the Academic Distinction Award in Computer is Ayesha Joy R. Bernabe. 
the recipient of the Academic Distinction Award in Araling Panlipunan and Filipino is John Lex Carlos P. Solano. The recipient of the Academic Distinction Award in English is Anrian B. Mendoza. The recipient of the Academic Distinction Award in Christian Living Education or the Blessed Virgin Mary Award and also the recipient of the Academic Distinction Award in Science is Elaine Margaret P. Tadeo. The recipient of the Academic Distinction Award in Mathematics is John Russell A. Maralit. Lastly, the recipient of the Academic Distinction Award in Araling Panlipunan, Filipino, Christian Living Education, Science and English in the Home Study Program is Yesha Nicole Therese Camille. Congratulations to all the awardees for your exemplary performance in academics. This time, we listen to Thea Isabel E. Comines as she delivers the message of gratitude on behalf of the YS7 Learners, Batch 2020-2021. To accomplish great things, you must not only dream but act. Not only plan, but also believe. I believe today marks the beginning of a new journey as we celebrate our recognition day. Good afternoon to everyone. I am Thea Isabel E. Comines, representing YF7. I still remember the first day I came to Angelicum College. I went through a lot of emotions because I was about to enter a big school. I was very excited to see new faces, yet also a bit worried. I kept on thinking and asking about these questions. Will I have new friends? Are teachers in big schools more strict? Little did I know that USC Angelicum, our beloved school, would have a great impact on me or I must say in everyone. Classmates, schoolmates, do you guys agree? We have learned that we are not in a competition with anyone else except with ourselves. We can progress every day at our own pace. We must believe that nothing is impossible if we give our focus and dedication to what we do. This past academic year has been challenging for everyone. Online schooling is not easy and very different from what we were accustomed to. But we were given the help we needed by a lot of people who brought us here to celebrate our recognition day. Today, we would like to thank our dear facilitators, esteemed principal, and our school administrators for giving us the support to succeed in this new normal. For actually making it possible despite struggles and hardships. Thank you for the helping hands you extended us in making sure we understood and learned the lessons or activities you taught us. Truly a memorable year for all. We would also like to thank our number one supporter, of course, our dear parents. Congratulations to you, our dear parents. We made it this far because of your unwavering guidance throughout this challenging year. Thank you for helping us with our schoolworks and making sure we can study at home in the most convenient way possible. To my dear friends, classmates, batchmates, congratulations to all of us. Y7 completers of the academic year 2020-2021. We surely miss each and every one, but thanks to technology, we can, we can still see one another's faces virtually through video conferencing or any other social media platforms. We will all meet one another again once this pandemic is over. And of course, to our dear Lord, thank you for your guidance. This is all possible because of you. We pray that we will have better days to come and COVID-19 will soon be over. Let's all give ourselves a warm round of applause. Once again, congratulations to us, YS7 completers. We now listen to Mrs. Catherine C. Dizon, the officer in charge of the lower level department of USD Angelicum College, as she delivers the closing message. Congratulations, YS7 completers. This completion ceremony is so unique. That is why 
despite the uncertainties, it has been a much-awaited event that celebrates this educational milestone in your life. You are the pride of your family and loved ones as you reap the fruits of all your hard work with this achievement. To our completers, today, we highlight your outstanding achievements and congratulate you for a job well done. You are now living all the trials, experiences, efforts, and other fond memories of your fruitful journey behind at the end of this recognition rites. However, a whole new level of adventure awaits you with lots of opportunities, chances, challenges, and pursuits. We encourage you to apply all the wisdom and values you gained from your alma mater. We honor you today for this achievement, which is only one cobblestone in the path of your life. You must persevere and achieve more success as you get nearer in achieving your life's greatest dreams. But before you enter a much bigger and exciting world, do not forget to extend your sincerest thanks to your parents, facilitators, friends, and other people who helped you along this journey. They are the ones who inspired and brought out the best in you. The hard work and efforts you exerted to master and complete all your subjects did pay off. This pandemic situation tested your resilience and faith to overcome numerous obstacles and be triumphant in whatever situation you may have to face. Stay focused in achieving your dreams and goals. Choose to be positive and grateful in life and use the knowledge and skills acquired to overcome all the obstacles that come your way. Embody the ideals and vision of your alma mater and show the world your uniqueness and grit. Hold on to your good character and face the future with hope, faith, truth, and love. Again, congratulations to all our YS7 completers. The academic year 2020-2021 has been a memorable year for the YS7 learners. The activities that they had in the past months gave them learning experiences that shaped them to become more responsible and mature individuals. These activities that nurture the bond of friendship among the YS7 learners, even virtually, are all in this together as they journey as one with gratitude and love amidst the new normal setup of education. Confronted with the different challenges, the learners choose to dream and to believe that there can be something better if they strive hard and pray for success. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in your ability. You're capable of anything. You can achieve any dream Please don't limit yourself Don't live your life limited It's not all sadness and misery Life's a challenge but you will succeed Take control of how you feel In every circumstance Work on is yet to come to achieve you must believe you can live out all your dreams persevere you'll make it through what you need is all in you when you believe you will achieve you can live out all your dreams it's about time you knew the truth
yet to come To achieve you must believe You can live out of your dreams Persevere, you'll make it through What you need is all in you When you believe you will achieve You can live out of your dreams It's about time you knew the truth YSF and learners, you have been nurtured with the school's core values of truth, charity, justice, and fortitude. Your resiliency and hard work helped you reach your goal, and you have been blessed to be equipped with the Catholic Dominican education that USD Angelicum College had given you. We are certain that when you begin your new journey in the junior high school, you will also succeed in overcoming the challenges that you will meet along the way for as long as you believe in yourself work hard and stay focused. On behalf of your facilitators and the school administrators, congratulations YS7 learners and welcome to the junior high school. Let us now join in the singing of the USD hymn. Thank you very much to everyone and have a good day.